How what did you think about the effort the last 15 minutes and then the effort the first 25 minutes? Obviously, you know, they manhandled us. First, whatever, in the last 10 minutes, I thought, you know, we got after them and played the aggressive way we have to play. We also executed offensively, but even then, I mean, we, we, we have a charge coming down the court. There's two men in there. Why did you drive in there? Well, I was going to pass. After you figured out you couldn't shoot, you were going to pass. We just have young guys, and we made those errors today. The last four or five possessions, we came out of one, we called a zone play, and one guy says, I didn't know we were running that. I mean, that's young, inexperienced guys. But you got to give Alabama credit. I mean, they came out of the gate. Uh, they stretched the game out. They made the shots they had to make. They were muscling us around the goal. And then they hung on. They made the free throws they had to make down the stretch. When, you know, I kept telling our guys, we got it to 13 and we broke down twice. And they got it back to 16. And I just said, we get this to nine or 10 points, we'll have our chance to win the game. And uh, we fought defensively and did some good things. And, but we had some guys who couldn't play in this game. Obviously, they could not play in the game. And, um, you know, that's for everybody to just sit there and look at it and said, ouch. But, you know, you got to give Alabama credit. They played well. What were you looking for, Cal, on that last, the last play of the game with the, uh, Darius throw? That was to go to Duran. So the other guy just said, I'm doing this myself and kind of grabbed it. But that was for Duran. I was going to sub and put Josh in because he knows that position better. Again, you know. You could put that on me because Terrence has not played there, but that play was for Duran, and Duran was open, but he, he bumped into him before he could get over, over the top. And what we wanted was a two dribble pull up. So he would have taken a, a deep NBA three is what he would have ended up shooting. Now, you, you talk all the time about 50-50 balls and not getting the ball yanked. Out. <clears throat> How frustrating is it for you to talk about that all the time, but then see that happen Whew. over and over? The biggest play I thought was uh, Green had it inside, missed a shot, and tipped it in. That was like you just he wants it worse than you want it. And uh, even the last play where you know we're driving to a wing and we're going to do a, a, a what we call a pitch or a, a pistol, and the guy muscles to run off. He just and, and, and he you know he doesn't come off that hard. Those are all. We show it on the tape and say, this is why you lose ball games when they're close. And we're going to be in a lot of close games. I mean, this is what we are. I mean, I don't, I know this is what we are. And when we get muscled and manhandled, this is what you see. Um, when we come out and play off of one another, I thought we were, you know, we weren't, you know, just took a lot of bad shots. Just took a lot of bad shots. A lot of throws at the basket. <clears throat> Write that off as the Kentucky factor when teams are playing Kentucky. They they summon it. Yeah, some of that. Yeah, you know, I one of our things where we were helping off some of the guys and they made shots. Uh, we knew we had a disadvantage inside, and uh, but I like how we fought to get back in the game and give us give ourselves a chance to win. We just came down four straight times, and didn't execute and basically broke it off. In other words. The shot we took wasn't the shot we were looking for, all in, in, except for the pistol where we just got muscle. And it's, you can't do that. I mean, we all are playing off of, you know, walking out of a timeout saying this is what we have to do. <coughs> there was a play at one point they turned the ball over as you guys were starting to sort of make it come back. And it almost seemed like you were imploring your guys to get excited about the fact that they had turned it over. It seemed like your guys lacked a little energy. Were you? Should you have to work that hard to get them energized? I'm just trying to win a ball game. If I have to, I will. I hope not. But, you know, we're just, uh, you know, we're not committed yet. I mean, guys are content. If they're getting minutes and shots, they're, st they're content. And, and versus committed to doing what they're supposed to do to win a ball game. Um, that will to win that we had a year ago. We don't have that will to win. And all that is is a toughness coming up with a ball, making a play, not Focusing in a timeout, not breaking down, not I'm going to break this off and take my own shot. We didn't do that a year ago. We didn't win every game, but.
But in these, when it got close, we made the plays we were supposed to make, and we came up with the balls we were supposed to come up with, and we're not doing it right now. But we have time. We're a young team. Do you see moments of that? I mean, in the second half, we did some things. I mean, they, they showed. But again, I had to play the small lineup. I couldn't put Josh in. I had to leave him out of the game. It seemed like you had a lot of shots right around the basket, in and out. Josh missed the dunk. And the tip in. And, yeah. DeAndre went in the lane and went in and out. That's, that wasn't the game. The game was we got muscled. We just, they muscled us. And uh, we, you, you accept it and are content with it, or you just say, no, it's not happening. And it, you know, we made, what I'm proud of is that we gave ourselves a chance to win. We had no business being in the game, none, the way we played. No business. And all of a sudden, we have the ball in a one-point game and have it a couple times and have a chance to win. But then again, I'm learning. Who do I go to? I went to the wrong guys. Who do you go to? And so we're trying to figure it out. Obviously, we won't run a pistol to Duran. Now, I used to run that to Chris Douglas, and we won games on that same play. But he caught that ball, and he would drive it and either get fouled or scored. And that's why I ran it. Ran it to his right hand, where he's good. But he got muscled coming off. Is um, that part of that motor thing? That yeah. About? Yeah. We'll watch it on the tape. I mean, you know, it's the greatest thing about the tape is it never lies. When you watch it, you can say, I was running hard, and I, I didn't muscle him. And then the tape shows that you jogged off, and the guy pushed you off the guy. I mean, that's, and if I'm wrong, then I'll say, you know what, you did. He stuck an arm on there, and how he got his arm in there, but we'll see. I have, I have a good idea that I'm pretty accurate. I was watching it. Last question. We're practicing tomorrow. I was going to give him tomorrow off. Tomorrow is going to be a brutal day. Brutal. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I really don't care. The meaning of it is what it will be tomorrow. And, um, uh, you know, they just got to know that there's certain things that I will not accept. And, uh, you know, but again, let me, I don't want to take away from Alabama. They earned this win and deserved to win and played better than us. That's, that's just how it is. And they played rougher than us, so they deserved it.